<laughs> so what's next for VA? Well, hey, I'm going to put it out there, right? Should do it. Let's just put it out there Let's because. Talk about it. All right. So the idea is um, we do a virtual tour. Now, a virtual tour being that I stumbled across this Spurio modeled Steinway piano, which plays back. So you you hit record on your iPad, you play whatever you want, and then press stop, press play, and it will play back the keys moving. That playback uh, technology has been around for a while, but this plays back all your nuances. It, to the to the staccato, to the crescendo, everything is there. So it's incredible. So right. if you push the key down halfway, it knows exactly where you left off and knows how yes. fast you came off. This is the next generation of player piano. Exactly. Yeah. It, it is t it, incredible. And then you can go back into this, the app and adjust what you want as well. All within the app. Ooh. Yes. So if you suddenly like held your pedal down for too long, shorten that. It's like putting music production together with the live instrument now. It, it, it's incredible. So you're not, you're going to save a lot of time in the editing suite. Sure. If you needed to edit, right? That's great. It is for amazing. The, for the recording, I would imagine too. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So if you want to transpose the entire thing down in three tones, you can do that. I'm sure some musicians hate it. They're like, you're cheating. Oh, yeah. Right? But yeah. this is what I mean. It's saving you time now. If, for instance, you know, what I was saying about recording, like, oh, shoot, I pressed the wrong note. You are cheating and going back in to go click. Right. But it does save you time, right? Right. So that's only one aspect of what this piano is about. For me, the coolest thing is that because it is linked via Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, if there is another Spirio piano, in, for instance, I played it in LA, and there's a Spirio, same model, in... Tokyo, you connect it, and I'm playing in Tokyo as well ah. at the same time. And this is when we add the hologram. This is when we add the hologram, so that VA can appear in ten different cities at the same time. So if you're listening or watching, you know anything about holograms, or you work for Steinway, <laughs> 2021 oh. is the tour launch date. Ten cities in one day. Diego is my tour manager, clearly. Yeah, because <laughs> I he hasn't. Told me this, but <laughs> no, I think it's really straightforward. It's pretty simple, and I think Steinway should and will be more than happy to sponsor it. The other concept is then you have one live person there, right? Exactly. So, you, so like we a bring in a live person per per uh, venue. Violinist, singer, to accompany you on the piano, the hologram. Yeah. Yeah. So you there is a live element to it, right? Well. Apart from me playing live, but there's a human there, yeah. <laughs> a human element to it. No, well, I mean, we were talking about this idea the other day that if I, if we were to start smaller in terms of staying within the state of California, right. I could then move down or up and right. be like, let's do San Diego, let's do LA, like two hours later, let's do Santa Barbara two hours later. You know, I'm excited about the idea, but know nothing about holograms and <laughs> that technology. If you think about pianos. Nobody ever thinks about piano innovation. Those two things don't exist. It's almost like an oxymoron saying yes. it. And so if I'm Steinway, to me, this is a no brainer. It's like, whoa, now, now the hologram just increases my marketability. But also what I'm selling is this new component, which is the Bluetooth piece with the app, yes. being able to tune it, however you described it. Yeah. Like, I don't, I don't know that they're marketing that to a, to a, to a mass. Or, I mean, I don't even know how often people buy a new piano, but. To me, it's a no-brainer. To them. me, that particular piano, because there is no compromise on quality either. Because that sounds like a commercial. <laughs> <laughs> How much is the piano? How much is it? It's one hundred fifty-two thousand. And it's like a grand, you said, like a nine-footer. No, How much it, is a normal Steinway for comparison? So this Spirio is the size of a Steinway Model B, mm -hmm. which for me is the ideal piano size for any home. Because it's six foot ish. Okay. Because you can't have a nine foot in your house unless you've got a McMansion and the acoustics for it. It's, you know, right. It's like a dining table. Yeah. <laughs> um, that's for concert halls. But they do make the stereo in a D as well. With how big is so a D? Nine foot. Okay. So, so it's six or nine. So it's made for the, the concert hall too. And so how much would a, a, a regular B cost you? Uh, a regular B, brand new, is 112000 so it's, you know, significantly more expensive. I mean, it's what, 
40000 $40, yeah. more, yeah. I would argue if you're going to spend 112, you're exactly. right there. Just exactly. go for 152. If you, yeah, yeah, you're you're there. You're already there. Yeah. Ship it. To, Put it on the credit card. Yeah, to to then have this technology and imagine like inviting someone over who you really like who can play and you you then capture that forever. You don't need to invite them back over. Oh. <laughs> Do you then need to ask permission? It's kind of like stealing your soul. Wow. You're like, "Hey, come over. I'll host a dinner party. Can you play for me?" Okay, thanks. Bye. <laughs> wow, and then never talk to yeah. them again. Yeah. That's a, and then now put the hologram in and she's there. If done. You want it there. It's, it's like, Alexa, play the piano. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. We just paired it now with Amazon. Oh. Now you have a three way partnership between Steinway, Steinway. Amazon, and, and the hologram partner. company. <laughs> this is some next level. We are some real sponsor whores. Real entrepreneurship. The yeah. thing is, this is all super possible in today's environment. That's kind of the exciting part. So after this concert, 2021, <laughs> by, then, by then you'll have another album launch for sure. Probably three albums in. Yeah, may maybe that could be the third Universal album tour. Sure. Hologram tour. You should pitch this to Universal. I think, I, really I think it seriously has legs and, and it's super exciting and I really possible. Should. We have a great uh, festival in Australia called Vivid happens every winter in June and it's a music ideas and light oh. festival and it's incredible they project stuff into the opera house so know. they would do this the, oh yeah this would be at their alley yeah yeah let's send some emails yeah let's do it